Being abandoned by a narcissist is a blessing. No contact is a must. Hello everyone, and welcome to our informative channel. In this session, I aim to delve deeper into the harsh realities surrounding the reasons why toxic and abusive individuals have chosen to abandon you in your relationship. Moreover, I will strongly advocate for your detachment and the maintenance of zero contact with such detrimental personalities. However, I want to emphasize and make sure that you comprehend the fundamental difference between these two situations, being discarded by a narcissist in your life and your decision to sever ties and walk away, are entirely separate phenomena. I understand that many of you out there might be grappling with feelings of guilt and shame for choosing to cut off ties, for turning a blind eye, and for making attempts to progress forward in your personal life. If you find yourself identifying with these feelings, then this message is particularly pertinent for you. If you're eager to hear more about this, I encourage you to hit the like button right now. So, without further ado, let's delve into this topic. Earlier today, I shared a message discussing the tactics employed by toxic, abusive individuals, who not only abandon the relationship, but do so after they've strategically implanted destructive devices in crucial aspects of your life. These aspects include your self-confidence, your personal integrity, and your understanding of yourself and the world. They deliberately target these areas of your life for the sole purpose of self-destruction. The question that arises here is, why would they do such a thing? The answer lies in their desire to witness you self-destruct after their departure, thereby eliminating any fear of being exposed or compromised. This way, there's no chance of you unveiling their true colors and the reality of their existence. They simply continue on their path, unaffected. Moving ahead, in this message, I intend to dissect the concept of abandonment further. It's crucial to grasp how toxic, abusive people perceive you within the relationship, which is the underlying reason why they are capable of abandoning you. More often than not, they've already abandoned you mentally and emotionally, even before the relationship has had a chance to take root. We will explore this aspect in more depth, and more importantly, we will discuss why it's incredibly beneficial for you to have the ability to walk away. I want to reiterate that your decision to walk away is not synonymous with abandoning the relationship, and it's essential to comprehend this difference. As established in our previous video, and as we will further discuss in this one, we will be utilizing the metaphor of being vehicles in this life. It's not at all unusual for us, as individuals, to be likened to vehicles. We are vessels that carry forward the torch of positivity, the heralds of good news. We are the vehicles that propel life forward, driving the wheels of progress. In essence, we are the vehicles of life. Toxic, abusive narcissists, too, perceive people as vessels, as vehicles. However, the stark difference lies in their perception. They do not regard people as vehicles with whom they can align themselves for a long, shared journey. They're not in it for the long haul, as the uncertainty and instability of life intimidate them. Consequently, they are always on the lookout for the most beneficial solution for themselves at any given moment, often in an extremely self-centered way. To better articulate this, let's draw upon an analogy. So, let's dive in. The analogy that I wish to employ here is that you, my friend, are akin to a raft. I understand that I could probably conceive a more flattering analogy for you, but for the sake of this discussion, you are a raft. You are a secure flotation device, navigating the stream of life with its various dips, curves, and bumps. Life can be tumultuous, yet you continue to float along the best you can. The toxic narcissist, upon noticing you, has clambered onto you. Instead of being a separate vehicle alongside you, or another raft in conjunction with you, they are, in fact, hitching a ride on you. This is the inception of the relationship. Now it's essential to comprehend the following. They are on you, traversing the bumpy ride of life, flowing through the uneven stream. They've chosen to ride on top of you because you offer safety and protection. You cater to their needs, you keep them dry. Does that make sense? This is a critical point to understand in the dynamics of such relationships. The narcissist views you not as a partner, but as a means to an end, a vessel to carry them through the rough waters of life without getting wet. However, it's imperative to grasp the following. In the toxic narcissist's mindset, you are only as valuable as the next best option they perceive. 
Picture this scenario. As you're floating downstream, the narcissist is riding on you, exploiting your buoyancy for their benefit without any cost to them. Suddenly, the waters become tumultuous, sparking fear in the narcissist. Spotting an overhead branch, they seize it, leaving you, the raft, behind. The reason? In their eyes, you simply don't hold enough significance. After all, the raft is not as crucial as the narcissist themselves, and grabbing onto that branch seems like a more appealing option. This branch symbolizes another person, another individual in life that the toxic narcissist latches onto to draw their supply or validation and to feel secure. So, they cling on to that branch, holding on for dear life, through the rough patch. However, the branch gives way, and they find themselves back in the water. Glancing over, they see you still floating on, despite the choppy waters. You're still persisting. Consequently, they swim back to you, latch onto you, and once again, climb aboard. They resume taking advantage of your buoyancy, showering you with praises like, Oh, thank God for you you wonderful flotation device, you beautiful raft. Thank you for keeping me dry. I should have never abandoned you. However, their heart is never truly with you, it's never for the raft. They continue on a bit longer until the waters turn turbulent again. Spotting another branch or a rock, they abandon you again, exclaiming, Oh, there's a rock. I'm hopping off, and they leap onto the rock, leaving you behind once more. So there you are, still floating on in the stream, undeterred. But what happens next? More water rushes in, dislodging them from their rocky perch. Once again, they find themselves in the water. Spotting you still floating, they swim over and latch onto you yet again. At this point in our discussion, you should be able to comprehend why these toxic narcissists abandon you and why their abandonment has been a foregone conclusion right from the beginning. The crux of the matter is that they never envisioned you as a permanent fixture in their lives. Every entity they encounter in life is ephemeral in their perception. Everything, including you, appears highly unstable to a toxic, narcissistically abusive person. It doesn't matter how adeptly you're navigating the waters of life, you are still deemed unstable enough for a toxic, abusive person to lack faith and certainty in the relationship. They simply do not possess the capability to embrace certainty or stability. Thus, they merely float on you, they only hitch a ride with you until they spot what seems like a better and safer option. They latch onto that, leaving you behind in the process. This pattern of behavior underscores why it's imperative for you to turn your back and walk away. Because there comes a point when you must grow weary of being this flotation device, being exploited for a free ride, then abandoned, then taken for a ride again, and then abandoned again. This cycle of being used and discarded is exhausting and emotionally draining. You're constantly living with this individual riding on you, but their heart isn't with you. They've abandoned you emotionally. Their commitment isn't for the long haul. This isn't someone who clings on to you and declares, let's weather this storm together. Let's navigate this stream of life all the way to the end, baby. This isn't the scenario you find yourself in with a toxic, abusive person. Instead, you're with someone who is unsure if they can remain with you or if they need to latch onto the next available branch. Their emotional state is volatile and unpredictable. This is precisely why it's crucial for you to leave. Imagine this scenario, you, taking your raft and declaring, peace out, deuces. I'm out of here, and decisively exiting that turbulent area of the stream. Now, the toxic narcissist, having lost their grip on the branch, finds themselves in the water. They look around, but you're nowhere to be found. At this point, they might wish they had not merely hitched a ride on you, but had joined you, aligning themselves alongside you. But now, you're gone. And that's perfectly okay, because it is not your responsibility to serve as someone else's life raft in this life. You are not obligated to offer free rides to people that's not your responsibility. So, it's perfectly fine to turn around and witness the toxic narcissists struggling to keep afloat. They will paddle and suffer. It's important not to let envy creep in when it seems like the narcissist has moved on with a new partner, a new life, or new social engagements. 
Essentially, they're just grabbing onto another branch and showcasing it on social media. Look at my new branch, Instagram, Cha-Ching. Right? That's all they're doing with their new partner. Here's my new branch, I'm clinging onto it. But remember, it's bound to give way because toxic, abusive narcissists are inherently unstable. They're going to lose their grip and fall back in, floundering and struggling to stay afloat. But the key point here is, you don't have to be there for them to climb back on. Do you see where I'm going with this? This is why it's vital for you to walk away. I understand that some of you might be thinking, but I don't want to watch them suffer. I know they're drowning out there. I know they can't keep swimming for long. I know they're desperately looking for branches, and I want to save them. However, you must understand that you can't. They are incapable of understanding the need to join you, to become a raft alongside you. They fail to grasp the concept of unity in the relationship, of being in it for the long haul. Their vision is myopic, focused solely on their survival, with little to no regard for you or anyone else in the process. Therefore, they will always repeat their pattern of exploitation, they will climb onto you and then jump off, time and again. This is the harsh reality of their behavior. I hope this video resonates with someone out there right now. Understanding the dynamics of a relationship with a narcissist is the first step towards liberating yourself from their toxic grasp. It is essential to remember that your worth is not defined by their inability to appreciate you. You are not a mere flotation device, but a person deserving of respect, love, and a genuine partnership. It is not your role to save someone who continually chooses to abandon you at their convenience. Walking away from such a relationship is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to your strength and self-worth. It is an act of self-care and self-respect, signaling to yourself and others that you will no longer tolerate being treated as an expendable object. As you navigate this journey of self-discovery and healing, remember that it's okay to put your needs first and prioritize your emotional well-being. You are worthy of a relationship that offers stability, respect, and mutual support. In conclusion, if you found this video helpful or relatable, please hit the like button as it helps us reach more people. We also encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below, as your insights can provide comfort and understanding to others in similar situations. If you believe this video could benefit someone you know, please share it. Lastly, to stay updated on our latest content, consider subscribing to our channel. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. By sharing and engaging, we can build a supportive community. Thank you for your time and take care.